And so he was walking towards us like we had a distance though. And he was walking towards us. And for whatever God showed me that he he did something with his hand and I seen that he ain't have nothing in his hand. So I started busting at him. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Oh, you uh, were, what, what were you from? Carp was it Carpus Christi? I was born no. in a town called Taft, Texas. Okay. Right? I lived in a small town called Aransas Pass, Texas. I went to um, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and then moved to a town called Bay City, Texas, and went to third grade, and then moved to a town called Van Berlek, Texas, and went from fourth grade to 11th grade, and this, my senior year, I left Van Berlek, Texas, and moved to Houston, and went to North Shore, in Channel View for my senior year, and I quit school my 12th grade year, the second semester. Mm, mm, mm. So, cool. but when you're dealing with all, when you're dealing with all of these small towns, no, y'all want to know it all, right? Yeah, you know yeah, come yeah. On. Okay. But when you're dealing with all these small towns that you're talking about, how bad was racism in these small towns? Because one thing I know about Texas, that's where you mainly had all of that was in them small towns. You really don't pick up on racism until it's like affecting what you're trying to pr produce or pursue. Okay. Some some people don't pick up on racism like because they content with their life not being nothing. So did you experience it? Racism? Yes. I've experienced racism, yeah. Tell me about an instance where it was blatant in your face. I was driving me and my kinfolk I'm the oldest one. I'm mm. the driver. I'm the driver and the damn shooter at this point. Mm. Because we on our way to Corpus. Mm -hmm. Some white boys pulled up beside us and was like, fuck the niggas, fuck the niggas. Mm. And I was like, what? Are y'all serious? And I'm scared to turn and just, I'm young then. And it didn't take nothing for me to just zoom. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it's, I zoom. And I turned and I followed them. This was in Ingleside, Texas. And they pulled, they turned on the little country road. I turned on the country road behind them. They stopped about maybe 50 feet ahead, started getting out their car. I stopped, told my cousin, hey, y'all stand behind this door because I'm strapped. Mm -hmm. And they wasn't. I don't know if they was or not, but the, one of the white dudes got out with his hand behind his back. Mm hmm the other dudes was getting out too, but I'm just paying attention to him really because his hand, because mm -hmm. his hand behind his back, and so he was walking towards us like we had a distance though. And he was walking towards us, and for whatever God showed me that he he did something with his hand, and I seen that he ain't have nothing in his hand, so I started busting at him, and then hit him. I don't know. That's the way it be. Like we, you know, uh, mm. yeah. That really, and and, and that ain't nothing but uh, a, a part of what happens when you get out of line with some real. You know, we young, so I get where he coming from because I've been there. So you know, you don't wait to see when you when something like that go on either. Most of the time, you move around and you move around quick because you know these white boys in the first place. But you, know you say you mean? don't know, but then I would think when you start shooting at somebody, they go you go either see them fall. Or are you going to see some? Not necessarily, because I'm at a, I'm, we at a distance. At a distance. Right? So I'm shooting, and it's multiple And he didn't people. shoot back because it's, he didn't have a gun. It's multiple of them. Right. I'm you just don't know focused. what they got. I'm Did anybody focused. shoot back? You could hear just, anything? No. Nah. So nah, after they all was, that? They was portraying like they had something. Did you jump in your car and drive off after that? Yeah, I told my cousin, like, man, we, I, we, I didn't have time to study the situation. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just asking. I'm just, trying to tell you. I man. let off, and I seen them get the one Ducky. of them could have got hit. I don't know. Man. It wasn't reported on the news, no homicide, <laughs> no none of that. Wasn't no, it was right. just happening in the broad day with us and some white dudes. But, mm -hmm. you know, that's a part of what goes on sometime in the South, man. You know, a lot of times in those days, it was going down. Now they're, they're not as blatant with it, but it still goes on, you know, uh, on, in a precipitated fashion. 
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.